Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, <clears throat> my shoulder is sick and tired of packing this freaking big boy around all day. So, I bought this little M12 half inch drive. Now, it's only 250 foot pounds. I probably bought the wrong one. It's only 250 foot pounds, like my 3.8s. Now, well, my 3.8s M12. Now, my 3.8s M18 is 650 foot pounds. I should have bought that one, I think. So, I'm probably going to go ahead and order that one too. <laughs> oh my goodness, I spent too much money on tools. So, we're going to. We are going to take a lug nut off of this and see how it does. Part number is 2555-20 M12 up to 250 foot pound of nut busting torque. Slap a battery in there. three bars grab a socket here let's go take off a lug nut if it takes it right off I might uh, not order the mid torque as soon as I get off the phone or the camera here if it does not take it right off then I'm ordering the other one just as soon as I Get done with this video. Well, pretty much took it right off. Hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just go ahead and order the other one? Cause a lot of, there is a lot of situations that these little 250, 220 foot pounders that uh, they don't quite do the job. I think I'll go ahead and order it. I'm getting too many Milwaukee tools is what I'm doing. I'm getting too many of them. Is there any such thing as too many Milwaukee tools though? All right, well, let's look around the shop. See what we got going on today. This here is a 2018 Ford Escape. Doing a engine straight from Ford. Just gotta get the wiring harness the rest of the way on that and stick it back up in there. And these are a pain in the stinking butt. If you have done these, I don't, I mean, maybe if you did them all the time, they'd be a little easier, but um, I could do a two fusion engines in the same time I could do this one of course that one's all wheel drive and it come in this big box here that's a freaking thousand dollar core thousand dollars all right this one um, the left rear axle is spinning on the little nub and they sent us a stinking front axle so we got to get another axle this is the transmission for a chevy cruise bunch of stinking cores that need to go back got to put this rear end here in a dodge this one the warranty guy or uh inspector guy came out it's got uh the engine was locked up i turned it backwards um, then it then got it to turn around forwards, got it to start, but that thing is hammering like crazy. So that one's getting the engine, the old Sorrento. This one, um, Mazda five, CX five, I think it has already got two engines right there. It's one of the engines we put in, and it was uh, knocking lower end. 
this one will not even start it's got a blown head gasket so bad when you crank it over it just shoots the coolant straight up out of it so we've got another engine on the way for that one this little chevy here aj is going to be doing uh oil cooler and some other little stuff to that one um we got a uh, subaru short block right here getting put together them are some funky little engines there we've got another engine here that we got to get put in it is for a Chrysler product, a Jeep, something or another. And I know we've got two GM or Chevy trucks out there to do lifters in. That's what's on the agenda for the next couple days. And then of course, customer work coming in there's another new ford 2.0 liter that has to be put in what's up thunder good morning bella how are you this fine day not good. <laughs> Deuce. Do the video race. <laughs> so, yeah, I think as soon as I get off the phone here, off of my phone, doing the video, I'm going to go ahead and order the half inch drive mid torque. My shoulder and my arm. That thing is just too heavy. I used it for a while with the big um, 12 amp hour battery. It's crazy how much difference it feels with that 12 amp from that five amp on there. And then we got a bunch of little stuff over here to do too. See, that's a cruise transmission. Stinking Mini Cooper. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't even want to do that one turbocharger and oil cooler we got a ram 1500 that's the rear end jeep compass or jeep cherokee latitude that's the engine chevy sonic cylinder head and camshaft chevy cruise transmission uh volkswagen tig one oil pan Oil line, valve cover gasket, timing cover gasket reseal. Up here we have a Nissan Pathfinder to do timing chains and sprockets in. Here we have a Ford Fusion a blind spot warning, blower motor, purge valve, driver door mirror. And then the diags are back up again. We got one, two, three, four, five, six diags there we gotta knock out today. All right, well, just a little walk around the shop. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.